Chris, uh, obviously a huge task for the Cavaliers trying to come back in this series. Just your thoughts. Well, I mean, they were the underdogs going in, even though I picked them to win in six, and now they are the extreme underdogs. Nobody besides probably the 20 people affiliated with the team, <laughs> including coaches and stuff, believes that they can win. Now, I'll tell you this, talking to the players, talking to some coaches, their confidence hasn't waned. Now, whether that's reality or not, they still believe they can win. They feel like, look, we'll play differently. There'll be more continuity, more ball movement. You won't have two great ISO players on the floor. You got one now, so we have to play more team basketball. Matthew Della Vadova is a better defender than Kyrie Irving. Can he get under Steph Curry's skin? Can he bother him? Can he be physical with him? Will the referees let him be physical with him? All those are questions that have to be answered. Um, look, I, I don't think the Cavs can win this series now. I mean, I give them a small chance because you do have the best player in the world and you do have some very good role players. Um, but it's a, it's a very uh, hard task. And I'll say this, if they win this series, for LeBron James, this would be the greatest individual march to a championship that I believe we've seen in NBA history. Chris, is there any advantage, and I know this isn't the Chicago Bulls and this isn't the Atlanta Hawks, but we've seen this team before without Kyrie Irving. Is there anything to be said for that? Well, it, it helps, I mean, that they know how to play and that they have success. You know, look, you're right. Those two teams aren't the Golden State Warriors, but the Chicago Bulls are a very good team. They're an elite team. Is Atlanta elite? I probably say no, but they still won 60 games and played very well against the Western Conference and, you know, do some things similar to the Golden State Warriors. You know, kind of a finesse team, shoots a lot of three pointers. Um, and the Cavs played well, you know, without Kyrie in those series. Um, look, they haven't had Kyrie as himself pretty much for the whole postseason. You know, even when he played against Chicago, he wasn't himself. Uh, so, Again, I don't, I don't think they'll win the series, but it's not what I think or what you think or what the national media thinks. It's what those players think. And I know some of them are saying, look, you never know what can happen. You never know. So you have to, they've got champions. In addition to LeBron, Mike Miller, Sean Marion, James Jones, who've seen a lot in this league. You've seen teams that probably you would say should not have won the finals and did. No, most people would say Dallas shouldn't have beat Miami in 2011, but they were able to do it. Miami probably shouldn't have beat Dallas in 20, 2006, but they were able to do it, come back from an 0-2 deficit. So, you know, I, I think the players have the right mindset. Again, we'll see how much, how realistic it is tomorrow night. Chris, thank you so much. We appreciate your yeah. time, big time. You're welcome.